All right, hello. Welcome back to the Cup Chasers podcast. Arsenal have absolutely thrashed Leeds at home. Uh, and it was uh, another professional performance, I thought. Uh, and if you're a fan of professional performances, smash the like button, get those likes up, go ahead and subscribe. If you're new, we certainly appreciate you being here. And get the notification bell on. We got plenty more coming at you. So, at the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal have turned that place into an absolute cauldron. The, uh, <laughs> the, yeah. the, fans, the fans have made it loud. Really, really loud. You love to see that. Uh, but I didn't think that this was a complete full 90-minute performance. And even though we won 4-1. to one. Um, like I said, I thought it was a very professional performance because even though we weren't, uh, at our best at times, I did think that there were spells where we hit the heights and when we did, we got the goals and then, uh, for some reason, like I knew we were going to give one. It was very unfortunate. The goal we gave up, but I just, I don't know. I felt like I don't think we were shaky in defense at all, really. Uh, leads are not good going forward, but <laughs> I just right. thought that there were spells of this game where uh, we didn't control. We didn't have as much control. We we you know we're kind of given possession away and we're not winning the uh, the second balls enough. But I mean, what else can I say about Martin Odegaard? Just absolute incredible game leandro trossard had an incredible game uh you love seeing gabby jesus with the brace uh getting the pen and then yeah and the, a bit of fortune about the penalty fortune kick. about the brace that jesus picked up but yeah <laughs> a little, little, little okay we'll take um, i do i do feel like you hit the nail on the head when i kind of felt the same thing i felt like after you went up i would say two like right after half almost that third one really solidified it for you guys. I just felt like kind of easy Saturday is kind of how I got the vibe after that. Like, oh, we took care of business this week. Good job, boys. And there's still 30 minutes on the clock because you knew, you know, Leeds isn't good going forward. So it's, so like you said, when you leaked one, it kind of woke you up a little bit, but you got it right back. Like the answer of it is what really kind of solidified it for me in this game. And watching, oh, I didn't look at it and be like, oh, yeah, they just they played down. They didn't play them full 90. I just felt like you made it after the third goal. It was like a scrimmage mindset when they got one. It was like, oh, no, we weren't you weren't supposed to do that. Let me show That's you. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. OK, well, now we get four. We're beating you by three today, just so y'all know. Like, <laughs> like, that's how it felt after they scored. But that intern gap from the like, like I said, right after half 50th minute. And then going into when they scored, really kind of felt like a. I wouldn't want to say you took your foot off the gas, but it really just felt it felt the intensity showdown, and you kind of made a show for the fans, like, "Hey, enjoy the game. This is a Saturday." The I mean, goals the goal, were great. The goal that we responded with, though, that fourth goal was was dirty. Dirty, right? Jaka hit a yeah. Jaka header off the 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 ball. I think I think yeah. it was a, a Saka got another assist. Oda, uh, Odie, Odie. That was hit. Odegaard on that? Odie yeah. Hit, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, Odie had a great game. Just an absolute peach of a pass. Um, I think that, especially after City smashed Liverpool, it was kind of a, oh, you win 4-1? All right, we'll come out and we'll win 4-1. No problem. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think that, Whatever you can do, we yeah. can do better, yeah. Absolutely. I think that um, there were so many good things to, to, to talk about in this one. Partey had a good game. See, that's the thing with Arsenal. When we play, when we win like this, when we have such a complete performance, who do you pick, how do you pick a, a man of the match? You know, um, is it Jesus for his two goals? Is it Od- Odegaard for his contribution? Um, I think even Leandro Trossard has a, has a, a shout. Talk about, like, you guys swooped in and stole Merdrick from us. Yeah. And now all the memes are, oh, thank God. Right. Oh, thank God. <laughs> because he's flopped, floppity, flop, flop, flop. And Trossard's come in, and I figured it would be a, a very shrewd signing. Uh, I've 
watched a lot of Brighton this season. Um, I mean, I've watched a ton of just an absolute ton of soccer this season. So yeah, um, I've watched more. I will say this is honestly like doing this and having the podcast be like a little bit more of a motivation. Like, yeah, I try to catch. I watched the games. Seven games this weekend. Right, I tried to watch some of the games, the ones that seem appealing to me. Now I'm watching like off the wall. Like I had to go back and watch that. The Brighton we'll Brentford get, game. We'll get to it. We'll get to yeah. it. We'll get to it. But I had to go back and watch that. Yeah. Um, this, this weekend was nuts. It was nuts. It was. It was, easy it was weekend. a great weekend. The but getting back to this game, my man in the match honestly would go to Odegaard. The the. It's the full – like, whenever you do all three for me, yeah, the goals mean you win the game. It solidify the game. Gabby Jujus had a great game. Odie allowed some of that play to happen. Odie also kept the midfield together. He didn't allow Leeds to use – I mean, Leeds are just bad. He can't really – They were they're injury-ridden, too. <laughs> they're just bad. To be but, fair. But <laughs> – um, No, Leon Trossard uh, was a great addition to your squad. I think Georgie hop and ship – has given y'all a little bit more to bolster it. It's exactly what you bought him for. And you're employing him. You're employing him exactly what you bought him for. Hey, Partey is not going to be able to run an engine full steam ahead. Every game, every, you know, throughout the rest of the season, you're going to come on. You're going to come on in the, in with 40 minutes left, or you're going to come on with 30 minutes left. And you're just going to hold this down. You're going to be the placeman. You're going to be a CDM. Don't get caught too far forward. Just do your thing, make the pass and keep the game going. And that's exactly what he does. And that's it's so what he's good at, and again, as long as you don't have that ping pong play that we got caught up in in our game, Georgie doesn't get lost. So he holds it down. You you don't leak anything. It's not like there's a gap when Partey comes out, which is exactly why you spend the money and you buy someone cheap like Jorginho that can fulfill that role. Yeah. Uh, which I think he did whenever he came on as well. So, well, speaking of subs, I think that uh, two people should get huge shout out. One is Rob Holding. Um. Who, I thought you said he was hurt. No, Saliba was hurt. Saliba is hurt. Yeah. Rob Holding come in for Saliba. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first thing, he looks ridiculous with his the way he does his hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it looks really, really, really weird. Like he's trying yeah. to pull his face back. So he can see. <laughs> it's it's odd. Uh, but he did a great he I thought he was good deputizing, had a very solid performance. One of those performances where you don't have to say anything about him. Because right. he did his job, he did it well. Um, he didn't clatter anybody. He didn't pick up stupid fouls. You know, he was very solid. Slotted right in there next to Gabrielle. Fantastic. Um, and secondly, Mikel Arteta has been listening to the pod, man. Yeah, man. I think they all are. <laughs> you said it last time out. You said you asked me the question: When do we see ESR in the yeah. tent? Yeah. And I, like. <laughs> Who knows? He did it. My he boy watched the pod and was like, yo, I even forgot he he played there. Yeah. Like, what am I doing? Like, I was like, I was not even upset when Vieira came on. Yeah. Because Vieira came on for Granite Xhaka and Smith Rowe played in the 10. And I was like, finally. I was just finally. like, does this day get any better? We we <laughs> win 4-1. We got, you know, We're playing finally coaches listening to, to the podcast. Yeah. Yep. Got, yeah, I mean, we got Willie Smith row back on the field. You know, we're good. We're flying high. It's a great love to, weekend. Love to see that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, comprehensive win definitely yeah, needed. So. We're, up, we're up. We're up eight points. Yes, City have that game in hand, but they will have that uh, until the penultimate game of the season. Uh, so don't worry, we can mess up City's whole title race for you. We play them one. We, we play, play them second. We play the second to the last week. Y'all come to the Emirates. Yeah, but we play second to the last week at home yeah. against City. Huge game for them to end the season on. Yeah, okay. I'll give you that. <laughs> I'll give you that. Um, I can only hope. We'll, we'll put it there. We'll no, put we're, it out there. Of the, we're out of the gutter, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, telling you can you. only hope. We, dude, we had a Horcrux as our manager. Like, Horcruxes bring pain and destruction to everything around them. That's exactly what that man did. Oh, my we're, goodness. We're going to be fine. Yeah. Well, uh, nine games to go. And I'm excited for you guys. Honestly, like you said at the beginning, I wanted to hint on it because you said it. The Emirates has become, and your fans are getting, like, your fans, you can see the, the ball's gotten big enough now to where a lot of you guys, and I said it since the beginning, probably mid season, like, 
well, more and more of y'all are buying in to this. We're oh, believing. no, we can, we got this. We're putting a championship. The, like, belief, the belief is building, man. Even throw it. Yeah. Even me sitting there, sitting there watching this game, I'm like, bro, like, and I've had, I've had a couple of moments since then, you know, uh, yeah. past couple of days, like, yo, oh, man, it's thinking back about the last 20 years. <laughs> <It's fair. laughs> Of just absolute nothing yeah, now. For, yeah. Now I'm, I'm like, I'm half giddy just thinking about it. You know, like, yeah. can't you know? And so I mean, I've had the I've had the belief for a long time, um, but like I say, nine games to go. We're eight points clear, yep. and uh, we got some big games coming up. It's Liverpool next. Uh, we'll get into that on Thursday. Is that a big, that a big game still? <laughs> like, like, I'm just, oh, it's at oh, Anfield. Don't pull a man you, bro. Oh, oh no, it's at Anfield. I'm sorry. Don't pull a man you. No, no, you're talking, right. You're talking right. all that track. <laughs> <laughs> Anfield ain't nothing anymore. Seven nil. No, we're Psych. not. We're not doing that. We're not doing that game. That no, is it's, it's because at, it's because one of the Manchester United players touched the sign in the in the thing, and that, they're not supposed to do yeah. that. Like, apparently, that's like a. That's right. a bad juju. That's like splitting there's no, holes. There's no way. There's just no way that – there's no other way to look at this run-in other than we have nine cup finals. Yes. Straight up, yep. every single game, we have to get up for it like it's the last game we're ever going to get to play ever. Like they need to come out there. I mean – I not get, like – I kind of like the solidification of y'all's focus, though. Like the Europa does not mean as much as the as the Prem. Arteta didn't care. Arteta and just... you're gonna finish, and you're gonna finish top four anyway. So you know you're in champs. You don't have to win it. Like I mean, yeah, the focus, twenty two points ahead right. of third. The well, focus, third, fourth, and fifth are tied, but we're twenty two points ahead of all that. So yeah, yeah. Champions League is is. Um, and again, that was the we're overachieving. Like I'm not gonna say we're not. We're definitely yeah. overachieving this season. But at this point, like we've got, we already have more wins than we had last season, and we had yeah. nine games to go. Um, Chelsea mathematically cannot get to Arsenal anymore. That yeah. happened. That happened before. That happened before the Villa defeat. I think. Sure. No, I think it was. I think it was this weekend. Um, this weekend but, cost us a lot. Yeah. But what I'm saying is like it's. It's coming, you know, a lot of teams, half the table can't get to us Yeah. before the end of the season, you know. So it's, it's, I'm starting to, I'm starting to get <laughs> excited. Um, there's a lot of big games coming up. We still have Newcastle. We still have Chelsea, we still have Liverpool. And of course, we still have to go to that to head. But uh, if we can get past that game with three, four point gaps still intact, Okay, you bar the door, baby. Yeah, well. Yep. Well, if you're out there and you're starting to believe just like I am, Absolutely. go ahead and get the likes up. We need lots of likes so that Arsenal can win this title. Uh, if you're new around, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. We got plenty more coming up for you.